Hey, I'm here with chef and author Hannah McCauley, and you've got some fantastic ideas. We were just Thank talking you. about this a minute ago. Yes. Fantastic ideas for some leftovers. I don't know if you guys can all see it. I want to hold this up. So, you can go straight these to are the actually <laughs> mashed potatoes. We'll get to that in a minute, but yes. I was just, I was flabbergasted. That was just like, oh my goodness. And they're easy. Potatoes. I was trying to tell you they're easy. <laughs> she got intimidated. Yeah, just yeah. a little bit. But, um, well, mine would, mine would, I don't even know what mine would come out to be. <laughs> but you've got some ideas for people. There's some sliders and some all different kinds of things. Let's, let's yes. talk about what people can do with their leftovers. Yes. I mean, you know, the day after Thanksgiving, you've got a ton of yummy things that are left over, and you're kind of like, what am I going to do with all this stuff? Yes. Some people still have guests in, so you've got to do something, and you've got to do it quick, and you don't yeah. want to go to the store because it's Black Friday, so there's no way you're going to the grocery store. So you, so can you use things. everything you had from yes. the day before. Um, I had Thanksgiving at my mom's yesterday, mm -hmm. and she gave me a whole bunch of Hawaiian rolls, so I had a lot of those. And of course, I had some turkey, and I had some ham, and some meatballs, and a cheese ball left over. Uh -huh. So I'm like, okay, what can we do for lunch mm -hmm. the next day? So I decided to make little mini burgers, and you can get really creative with these. Mm -hmm. So all I did, I just sliced the Hawaiian rolls in half, and I put a little mayonnaise, and I put the cheese ball as my glue. Oh, okay. And then on Sounds some fantastic. of them, <laughs> on some of them, I put the leftover turkey and the leftover ham, and a little bit of honey. Ooh, so it's kind okay. of like a turkey cordon bleu. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Mini burger. And, um, yeah, like little, little sliders. Yes. So and I, I just put them together, and I did them on the stovetop almost like a grilled cheese. So I used some butter and oh. just pan seared them. And I got a couple um, turkey cordon bleu sliders. That is so cool. And then I also took some of the barbecue meatballs that were left over, mm -hmm. used the cheese ball, same thing as the glue, and just did them on the stovetop and butter. And those are like Juicy Lucy meatball okay. sliders because okay. they've got the cheddar and the meatball okay. so you can really um, get creative with so those. So an idea with any of the meats you have left over from Thanksgiving you said ham, turkey, the meatballs you can make sandwiches and a little bit of everything yeah. but I always find, I find that you always have a whole lot of rolls left over so that's, yes. that's fantastic I always think yeah. like what am I going to do with all these rolls yeah, so sliders. You can is. make <laughs> egg casseroles with rolls too I do that all the time like oh, at night cool. just pull up your rolls and make an egg custard and let it sit overnight then you just bake it the next morning and it's fluffy and there there's so a use cool. for all your bread. I know what so. to do with the rolls now. Yes. Well, we've got mashed potatoes. I had okay. to tease them earlier. Tell us how to make these. They're like they're like mashed potato, I guess not I don't want to say well, dumplings. In, in the <laughs> cookbook I call them fried potato balls cuz that's basically what, what they, they are. are. <laughs> so, I mean, you could go fancy, you could call them a croquette or a potato pancake uh -huh. if you want. I mean, okay. <laughs> if you want to go fancy, oh, you know. <laughs> um, all it is, we had some leftover mashed potatoes and you know, that's not the most appetizing thing just to set back out. <laughs> So you just take them and they're cold, they're coming out of the refrigerator, and mm -hmm. you ball it up and you dip it in a mixture of egg, and or flour, sorry, flour first, you go mm -hmm. dry, wet, dry, so flour, okay. and then egg, and then panko breadcrumbs. And I love to use panko because mm -hmm. it keeps them really crispy instead of just regular breadcrumbs. Okay. So you just ball it up and you dip it, dip it, dip it, and you can even dip it again if you want it like super breaded and super okay, like a double crispy. layer. Yeah. Ooh. And then you just deep fry it. Now, do you recommend just using olive oil or something else? Or I use vegetable oil, canola oil, whatever okay. you have. Olive oil will be fine, okay. anything you have. Now, you said that you can find that in your cookbook. Yes. So tell us a little yes. bit about that. Um, we own a hunting lodge, so I cook for a lot of guys all the time. <laughs> so they like meat and potatoes. And I have leftovers a lot, mm -hmm. too. So I like to reinvent my leftovers. So there's a lot of good, uh, I call it leftover genius. There's a lot of good leftover genius recipes in there, but this cookbook has 99 of my most requested recipes. So everybody that comes to our lodge, when they come back, they're like, can you make that meatloaf again? Can you make that fried chicken again? Can you make that macaroni and cheese? So these mm -hmm. are recipes that I got tired of handwriting down for everyone. So <laughs> I just made them all in here. the book. Yeah, That's so it was, it was so fun and and that was like my fourth baby. <laughs> so <laughs> well, I like that you said that you've got a lot of leftover tips in here because mm -hmm. I know uh, when I'm cooking, I make all of uh, you know all of the dishes, and then it's like, okay, I've got sometimes bits and pieces left over. What yes. what can I do with these? What can I pull together to make some fancy dish? But and I think that's the most fun thing about cooking because you should never um, use your imagination. Yes, be creative. Yeah. Yeah. You should never throw anything away that you can reinvent and use the next day because it's actually better and it's um, more impressive because you had to put a little extra love into it, and then you're <laughs> yes. not you're not. Uh, wasting anything. So then you can so. really say it was it was truly cooked with love the next yes. day. You got to throw a little extra. And <laughs> it's nobody else's recipe. You just came up with that all by yourself. That's so it's fantastic. It's great. Well, thank you so much You're for being welcome. with us, Hannah. Thank you. And stay stay with us. We've got your 36 flicks up next.